away together and the black dragon's back and he almost shoots his headset off and welcome all of you to part 13 of Retro Dreams. I'm still a bit rough but we stopped while looking for... Well, we hear her, her, her. It's locked and a doggy. There it is! Die doggy! So what? So she seems to be over there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look in here. Not gonna smack that. I'm gonna look in here. But it looks nice for what it is. Can I do... Do you? Oh, I can do something. What is you? What the... It just reacted to it. What the crap? And now it doesn't anymore. What the frick? Oh, was it the door? I don't care about the door. I can't do anything with this. There is... There is something. Fanja, come with me. Come with me, I'll show you how to be. I'm not gonna sing a song. I'm gonna get problems if I'm gonna start singing a song. Okay. Um, can't do anything with this, I suppose. Yep. This will... This won't tell me anything. How about this door? Also openable. Man. Damn, it looks nice up here. Well, there's nothing here. That looks mischievous. Oop, come on. Um, lots of plants up here. I'm not seeing. Well, crows. I don't care about them flying enemies. Is there anything? That I should care about up here. Because to be honest, I'm not seeing anything. There's another door that I can enter. Is there anything else around here? I like to look furly. Nope, nothing, nothing. Okay, then let's see if we can go inside this door or if we need a key for it. Don't turn so quick, you're not supposed... It is open. There might be survivors in the hotel. And... Okay. So we're on... Sorry, ran against the pole. So we're not gonna leave here for now hello crows nice to see you again still don't really care so this seems to be the way of progress then I see the Ferris wheel so let's go back and visit the girl yes 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 I hear your talkie talkie where was the doggy? doggy was here fuck you doggy and we gotta level up! Oh, cutscene. Who is that? Where are you? Nothing else. It also is very interesting that her voice came out of the Wii mode and not out of normal that's a sexy view turn around please thank you anything over there um not out of my head headset and that's a mountain okay don't care about the mountain so let's see what's so dangerous She looks sassy. Make a quick turn. Nothing to see. Okay. Well done. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, hi. Yeah, red. Can't do anything just yet. Okay, he's gone. Found him. Whoops. Okay, I got a few swings out of it. Always go around and turn. You're such a stupid idiot. Face planting into the ground. Always go back and turn. There he is. No, don't disappear before I could hit you twice at least. And we go back to going backwards and turn. There he is. And he's gone again. We also can do it a bit faster. Ah, god damn it, I was too far away. Come over here. Ah, god damn it. Well, we're gonna run again. Turn to him. So. If it's good, we only need uh, one more good circle. Cycle. Uh, otherwise, I need him to come out twice. You're over here. I can't do anything with you over there. I need you a bit closer. Yes, just like that. Okay. Okay, one more hit should do this. Thanks for uh, coming so close to me. So, that was it, I suppose. Where's this key? There is this key. Oh, there's a key here. It sure is. You got the key to room 301. 301. Is there anything else inside? I don't see anything, so therefore we're gonna leave it. Just gonna look behind the table here. Nope, nothing. Okay, room 301. Well then, let's move ahead. Maybe also the mystery item that I found is a memory again. So maybe check that one out too. Hello, doggy. Jump into that wall. Oh, only two hits to kill you. Nice. So, it opened. Here I am. Let's see what's inside. Oh, hi! I thought I told you not to come in. I don't get it. Does this mean you're dead? Give me a break. Why is it that you're able to see me? Hmm. Well, well. I had no idea there was anyone left out there in the world. Persistent little guy, aren't you? Anyway, listen. My name is Sai, and you are? My name's Seto. Seto, huh? <sighs> Where'd you get that? Well, Grandpa gave it to me. Your grandfather? So he survived? How strange. But I guess if he's already an old man now, a lot of time must have passed. Tell me, how's the old man doing? Still active? <sighs> he's passed away. Oh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Don't worry, I was just trying to do you a favor. Your body looks so cold. Can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. You see, I'm looking for this girl I saw with silver hair. Have you seen her? Don't ask me. You want a girl? Find it for yourself. You're a guy, aren't you?
Why are you following me? Can you blame me? I'm bored out of my skull around here. I'd do anything for a good distraction. And besides, I know a lot of stuff. Maybe I could help you. Not to mention, I'm a sucker for cuties. Huh? Oh, Seto. Look for the silver haired girl in the hotel. When you feel like you've lost your way, hold the Wii remote speaker to your ear. So she is basically the new version of PF. A bit more lively though. Okay, um, hey doggy, come. Just wanted to kill you quickly. Oh, and maybe take that with me. Thanks. Does she follow me around or appear does she just appear when I stop? Nope, she seems to follow me around. Okay, let's take a look at what we found. Oh she's in Yep, she is. Oh, I better warm up. She is in this hey, cutscene too. That's nice. Be... Galena or Galena and a torn picture number three. Let's see what this one has. I was hit with the fever. The night that Mal and I had our fight. I remember bits and pieces of the dream that flooded my mind. But in the corner of every dream was the same image. It was the drawing that I had ripped to shreds. My legs in the drawing were cut off right at the ankle. In a sense, I was dancing legless. Soon the dream became reality. Though the fever subsided, my legs remained paralyzed. I couldn't walk, let alone dance, ever again. I spent weeks mourning in my room. Mal came again and again to check on me, but I refused to see him. Eventually, he stopped coming at all. After a short time, I went back to school bound to a wheelchair. My line of sight was so low to the ground, it felt like I'd reverted back to a little kid. Everything I saw looked different from before. The school buildings were like gray giants that threatened to crush me. My friends were kind to me, but it felt like they were all looking down on me and sneering. I rarely lifted my head anymore. Even when I ran into Mal at school, I didn't make eye contact with him. My sickness robbed me of everything. My dream of becoming a ballerina... My smile that people used to say brightened the room, even Mal. Even though I was stuck in that wheelchair, I attended school like everyone else. With my unyielding nature, I strived hard in my studies, ate my meals with gusto, and led in my student council duties. Finally, my old smile returned, and I found a new dream. I decided I'd aim to be a world-class sports photographer. Figuring that my wheelchair couldn't stop me from taking photos, my father had bought me a camera. Of all the things I lost with my sickness, there was only one thing I couldn't get back. After that day, Mal and I remained strangers. The anger and hurt I felt from him were long gone. And yet, there was less and less chance for conversation like before. I would often watch Mal tending to the flowers in the school garden from my perch at the window. After all this time, it was only now that I truly understood him. It's odd how rather than when we were close, it was by watching him from afar like this that I came to know him better. Plants are far more delicate than I used to think. If you're the least bit irresponsible and neglect their care even a little, they take a quick turn for the worse. And because they can't speak for themselves, you have to sit for hours to watch and read what they need. Do they have enough water? Good fertilizer? Any signs of sickness? Are they thriving? Mal was ever patient as he looked after his plants. If there was a sickly looking sprout, he'd change its soil, set a spot for it, and even stay late into the night to watch over it. He'd crouch in front flowers that had been trampled on by thoughtless students and mull over them for hours. While the other students were laughing it up and having a good time, 
only Mao would have his ear tilted to the silent voices of the flowers that nobody cared to listen to. That was cute and sad at the same time. Uh, we're gonna save too, since we're here already. So... Okay, um, I think we got picture piece 1 and 3, what means there is a picture piece 2 that I'm missing. So, gotta take a look for that. Um, I don't know if there was a way inside of here to move on. Yep, there was. At least it looks like. And I think we never walked that way because I thought maybe. Please turn. Because I thought maybe this would lead somewhere. I need to go later. So let's check. It stuck fast, so maybe I was here and got exactly that. Now that I look at it, I think I was here, so moving on. So we have to look for the girl with the silver hair. I don't believe that I can find her in here somewhere. So, hello Ducky, I'm gonna smack you again. You have a really bad spot. Maybe you should change. So, I'm gonna try to go back to the door. Maybe we can go through it. If not, I'm gonna meet you back in the hotel. And when I say sit, you sit. Goddamn dog. Okay, back there was nothing. I couldn't traverse anymore. So, we're moving on back all the way. Um, yeah, we move on back all the way. And we'll check those doors later on again. So let's see, maybe we find something down here again. Frame rate! Okay, I think we're back to normal. That was amazing. So let's see, I would like to go over there, so maybe? Oh, there is the lady. She's a lady. I hear you. Where are you though? Okay, I can't go through here. Hi. Okay, they can hit me. I can do check to them. Okay, before I get my as handed to me over here I'm gonna leave so apparently I can't do anything to them and again frame rate nice well isn't that interesting we're gonna look over there hello Lady You look nice Stop I won't let you pass here Um I'm looking for somebody So can't you let me through? No I don't know you You're a stranger I don't trust you Ah, oh, What a brat she won't listen to anything we say. You don't trust me? What can I do to win you over? Hmm... I know. Will you bring me the star? A star? Huh? A star? I think she's talking about the one on the Christmas tree down at the station mall. So you want me to bring you that star? Yes. Okay then, wait right here. Guess what? There's a shortcut to the station mall by taking the roof stairwell. Pretty convenient, huh? Oddly convenient if you ask me. Get the stuff from the underground mall. So we have to go back so we can go inside here. But we now have a sexy ghost with us. Okay, um... Uh, plan is, I'm gonna go up, gonna save, and then we're gonna leave this episode here for today. 
I think we've got a lot. I think we got a lot out of this episode again. And bleh, sorry. And next episode, we're gonna go down to the station mall again. God damn, I was so happy that I wasn't down there anymore. But maybe it's for the better, so we can get some memories we missed. I hope I'm not getting sick. Let's see about that set. So let's take a quick save. And next time we're gonna check out the underground mall, mall to get a Christmas star apparently. So why not? Um, this one seems to be rather intact still, but I think it's also starting to break slowly. But whatever, that's going to be it for this episode of Fragile Dreams. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. And hope to see all of you to the next episode when we're gonna find a Christmas star on the tree. So don't miss it. Bye!